two things that you have done that I think set you apart. One is you took a pay cut. I don't think you had to because I care about how a stock does, but you did. And the other is you donate a ton of money to veterans via the call of, of duty endowment. And I think these are important because that's what my, the, my friends who play Call of Duty said. You better mention that because it's not mercenary. He, this guy cares. Tell us about both. So uh, the, the pay cut, look, I've been doing this for 30 years. I own a lot of stock in the company. I don't come to work for my compensation. And our, our comp committee goes out and they do a very good job of shareholder outreach. And over the last couple of years, I think there's been a change in the way that people like to see uh, CEO compensation. So we just took an approach, go to the 25th percentile of our peer group. If that means a 50% pay cut, uh, you know, I, I'm fine with that. And I think one of the things that was important about it is we're a very performance focused culture and salary isn't a performance based measure. So it was a very easy thing for me to say when the comp committee said, take a, a cut in your pay, that it actually reinforces the fact that we're a very performance focused culture. So that wasn't that hard. The Call of Duty Endowment, we founded it a little over 10 years ago. And I don't want to tell you the whole story, but I had gone to see the uh, secretary of uh, the Veterans Affairs at the time and uh, talked to him about something not related to this. And I didn't know that over the last 10 years, veterans in the United States had an almost three times less likely chance of finding a job than an ordinary citizen. You think about that. You're going and serving your country. You're making these huge sacrifices. You come back and you're three times less likely to find a job. And there was a stigma that was associated with serving in Iraq or Afghanistan. And, you know, the game is a military simulation. It's rooted in a lot of the, you know, the history of the military. And so we really felt that one of the ways that we could really make a difference would be to actually use the profits of the game to help fund the, uh, the identification of opportunities for veterans for employment. And to date, we've probably found over 80,000 jobs for veterans, but these are excellent jobs. Right. They're not you know, low paying jobs, they are high quality jobs, they're long tenured. Our organizations are very focused on making sure that the HR departments of the companies that we place our veterans into are adept at actually developing their talents and recognizing their talents. And so it's been a, probably the most rewarding thing I've ever been involved in besides raising children. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.